Luke from My Vaults here again. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about uh, the Silent Alchemist. Uh, as you can see, it's powering everything on the table here. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit really about expectations. Um, uh, as you know, uh, it's the world's first uh, isolated USB power hub for synths and pedals and whatever else. Um, we're really proud of it. We've spent the last three years working on it. Uh, but I'm aware that you know, it's not perfect. And I think when you get it, there's gonna be disappointments. And I wanted to just to talk to you a little about that and make sure that you know what you're getting if you're uh, gonna buy our product. So the first, I think almost guaranteed disappointment I think that you will have is that maybe you'll buy this and you'll find that you plug in the standard power supply for an instrument you have or a device that you have and you find actually there's maybe a little bit more noise when it's powered from the Silent Alchemist compared to the power supply that came with it. Now, that doesn't sound great, but the thing is that where the Silent Alchemist really comes into its own, it's not in the individual uh, powering of, of devices. It's probably as good as any other power supply at that. We've spent the last 20 years uh, solving exactly that problem for people. I don't know if you're aware, but we sell every sort of power supply for every sort of device. People come to us and say they'd like uh, a power supply for a particular item, and we solve that problem hundreds of times a week. So we know uh, how to provide a replacement power supply. Not only do we do that, but we keep a database of every musical device that people uh, need to power, and we also keep, uh, a, a like within that database, we keep an issue database. So we know specific problems with specific devices for the whole universe of musical devices. So it puts us in a really great position in terms of us being able to provide the right power for you. Um, with the Silent Alchemist, as I said, it may be as good or maybe, maybe even a little bit worse. And the reason for that is that when you buy uh, uh, um, any product and it comes with a power supply, that's made specifically for this device. Whereas this is made uh, in a general way to work well with most devices. Um, so where, where this really comes into its own, and I, I, I think those of you who had, had a bit more experience with uh, powering devices will know that it's actually when you're powering multiple devices that sound isolation really gives you benefit. So what happens there is that you've got uh, um, a number of devices connected, and maybe you've got a mixer, maybe you've got a recorder as well, and they're all powered from the same source. So ground loops develop between that. And that is probably 80 to 90% of the noise that you get when you are irritated when you're trying to record or, or, or master or whatever else. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a situation that removes the majority of that. Um, so when you're like downstream in your workflow, you don't need to worry about these things. So, uh, I mean, th I think the, the, uh, the best example of this is that if we, if we take uh, any particular device and, you know, we think of how we, as a company, want to try and make sure that your device gets powered well. So we have a sort of uh, a pyramid of care. So it, at the very top of that is we care about you and, you know, we want to make sure that Nothing that we sell, and we, like I said, we've been doing this for, 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 for 20 years. We work with factories, that, for the same factories for 15, 20 years. They've also um, you know, uh, got engineers working with them to make sure that things are, are produced at the highest standard. We're shipping this with a UL certified uh, uh, power supply. So it's going to have, obviously, CE approved as well. So our, we have a full-time engineer here. Uh, and we have project engineers over there working to make sure that this unit is professionally manufactured to the highest standards. Um, so, and, and, and like I said, at the top of that pyramid is this idea that you have to be uh, protected in terms of no risk of uh, electrocu uh, electrocution or anything like that. Uh, because it's a DC device, there's less risk of that. Once you get into uh, DC power, 
uh, you're pretty safe. Um, but just below that, just below, uh, you know, care for you is care for your devices. And the thing is that um, that those same standards of making sure that there is over voltage protection, over current protection, uh, any uh, EMF is, is well managed. All these things uh, are part of our consideration. Like I said, there is engineers working on making sure that these are as high a standard as we hold ourselves and have had for the last 20 years and everything else we make. And uh, so, so we're absolutely uh, you know, trying to make sure that there would never be a case where your instruments get damaged. Um, that, that being said, there are possibilities. You know, whenever you connect one uh, device to another, you have uh, uh, like a physical connection, which means that there could be uh, electrical uh, noise which somehow gets through. Like I said, there could be filtering which is not being applied that, that, that was on the original power supply. Uh, it could be mechanical noise, there could be resonances caused by uh, you know, capacitors or coils working on one device or another. What we've done to, 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 to try and mitigate this is we've got a huge range of devices like, in, like the ones here and you know, we've, we've looked at scenarios involving uh, 50 or 60 different common uh, devices and we haven't found any significant um, mechanical or electrical noise more than the norm. And in every case we found that the, uh, the ground loop noise was removed due to isolation. So we think that's a, like a, a really solid um, you know, bit of uh, care for you, your device. And then of course, the other thing that's important is like your recordings. Uh, and that, that's where uh, the, the Silent Alchemist really pays off. It's got um, you know, uh, isolation, and not only has it got isolation, but it's also got a manager, like a chip managing each port, so therefore you don't get any of these ghostly reboots, there's no glitching, um, because when you plug a second device in, it's not affecting it, and likewise, if there are surges or different things, different demands from the different devices, it's not all running off the same board the way it is when you're plugging everything into maybe a USB power hub or you know, even, even running off the same uh, uh, AC, uh, um, you know, power strip. So, you know, all those elements um, are the reason why we're, you know, thinking that we've made something that's, you know, really useful and will re be really helpful. Um, that's our, our, our hope. Um, there'll be things that we haven't expected will come up. We, we've been as rigorous as we can. Um, uh, I can only hope that you guys, if you are going to back this, you realise that um, you know there will be things that will come up. Um, but we will, as a company, do everything uh, we can to make sure that uh, you know if there was a problem, we will sort it out. Um, be it uh, you know replacing the unit or or just rolling out uh, new versions. But that's how it is. With, with any, you know, at the moment, there's this vacuum that we're trying to fill of a need for isolated. USB power hub. It's the first one that's available, so if nothing else, it's going to be the best uh, for the moment. And uh, it sort of paves a way for hopefully other people will come into this space and, and, and make similar items. But what we want to do is we want to make something that with you, we can bring forward and develop, and, and maybe it will be that the next version will be an improvement. Um, but we're confident that we've made a nice, robust, solid solution. Um, which will uh, you know, cater for your needs. Uh, and in that context, another disappointment, unfortunately, um, but hopefully not too significant, is that we've decided we're actually going to remove the UPS feature from the product. Um, we feel that it's a, a nice to have rather than a need to have. It's still gonna be a great USB power solution. You can power via USB-C or via DC. It still have daisy chaining uh, possibility. But uh, we found that like, in order to uh, make it a really robust solution, um, the idea of, of, of catering for fallovers um, with multiple power sources, it doesn't really add to the device that much, but it causes a lot of potential for disappointment. And we only want to ship something that we're really happy with, so you'll be really happy with it. So uh, I hope that all makes sense to you, and I hope you uh, feel that it's uh, the right sort of device for you. 
Um, we want to be as open and honest, and we hope you could be open and honest with us and tell us that you're uh, along for the ride, if nothing else. Um, so uh, thanks again for all your time and support, and uh, here's hoping that we're going to start something really exciting. Thanks again.